What up, everybody? It's your boy 3103J Mo. And for all my Lions fans going through a tough time, go listen to Lean On Me. Because that's the type of struggle I feel like now I will never disrespect my heritage, my ancestors, or any type of things with those things that happened back in the day with, with black people. But it just feels like. The, the struggle the Lions have against the refs of the NFL, it feels like something that, that, that we go through in everyday life with the unarmed killings and, the, you know, just, just black people trying to be even with the world. And we just always going through something like we can't never get by. Like, like, just go listen to Lean On Me. And look, man, it's 1 a.m. I wasn't going to drop this video. I was going to wait till Wednesday because they, today is my birthday, y'all. Yep, it's 313 JMO's birthday. And um, I got a lot, a lot of stuff to do later, but you know, I'm, I'm about to stay up and get turned. I'm sorry, I don't care. But the thing is with me is, I, it's this one song that the dude, the dude says like, "Why you sad on your birthday?" I didn't like because I was, I was shuffling through my stuff, guys, and I didn't like like hearing that. I skipped the song. I didn't like hearing it today, tonight when I was listening to music. It gave me an eerie feeling. Well, I ain't, I ain't necessarily sad. It's my birthday. But, you know, the loss hurts. But, you know, the funny thing about me is, and we're going to get to the football game. I'm just talking to y'all, just, just being real with y'all, man. The funny thing to me is I'm over it. And you know why? Because in that last video that I released, you know, here, here goes some, you know, phantom calls here. I was like, fans will act like the world is over if we lose this game. But in reality, looking at our schedule, it's not. Now, I'm not saying, oh... I'm not, I know, 313J Mo not doing that today. He ain't, I ain't doing, oh, take the high road. Look on the bright side. We've lost and still have an easy schedule. Yeah, guys. No, that's not what I'm doing at all. Sadly, we got to move on. We got, we got Minnesota on Sunday, short week. TJ Hawkinson didn't look 100%. Where's Jesse James? Jesse James looking like a failure. Justin Coleman is amazing. Looking like the best corner in the NFL. Our secondary is amazing. Um, I'm very, I'm getting very upset with uh, Daryl Bevel's running plays. He's not using Carryon Johnson, right? Carryon needs to get better hands. TJ needs to get better hands. It looked like Kenny Galladay got a serious injury on that pass. He dropped on the sideline, but he looks fine. Marvin Jones didn't show up at all. Got completely shut down by Zaire Alexander. What are you doing? Matthew Stafford was great. You know, he missed some throws. He definitely missed a few throws that I didn't like him missing. But all in all, he was Matthew Stafford. He was a competent quarterback. And as I continue to say, every game Stafford gets sacked multiple times, we lose. Every game he doesn't get sacked multiple times, we win. And my thing about the refs and the officiating is this is my thing. And I know most of y'all saw me on the round table or whatever. You can't have a call decide a game. And I know the Lions should have scored more touchdowns. Well, Green Bay should have scored more touchdowns. Why, why are we talking and not talking about the field goals we forced Green Bay to make? Oh, because they won the game. They shouldn't have scored those touchdowns that we made them force in the field goals when they had great field position. Oh, okay. Yes, Matt Patricia had his call with moment of the year with the 12 men on the field. But guess what? Green Bay had 13 men on the field on one play. But okay, they didn't call it. No, they didn't have 11 men on the field. Matthew Stafford in the office was going against 13 men on the field and they didn't call it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But you know, like I said, it's my birthday. I'm having a good day today. I don't care what happened with this game. I still think the Lions, I still think we're going to make the playoffs, at least winning the division, we'll see. But my my, my most my number one goal for this year, and I've said it many times, with this squad, you got to make the playoffs. There's no excuses. But the division, we'll see how that we'll see how that turns out. Like Green Bay, they I swear they overrated. They beat us, so we overrated too. But I just, it's just something about them that's just, it's, I just feel like they just keep getting lucky. They just keep lucking up in the wins, but at the end of the day, you win football games. Uh, Green Bay fans, congratulations, man. Y'all 5-1, and one, I'm you know, feeling good. But this is my thing. When Green Bay fans, the worst thing that you ever want to hear when you lose a football game is another fan telling you they're sorry you got fucked over. 
The last thing I want to hear and see is Green Bay fans in the comments like, yo, they really fucked y'all up? Like, yo, like, we were not supposed to win. And, like, and this is the thing. When you're an objective football fan and you're a fan of your team, you know when people get messed over. And to, to me, I like in this, uh, uh, this is a completely different situation, completely different. But I know Warriors fans felt a little bit bad for LeBron James when he scored 51 points and then J.R. Smith didn't know what the clock said. I think deep down in their heart, as much as they wanted to beat and sweep LeBron, they were like, yo, that's messed up, bro. And when all of these Packers fans are telling me, like, yo, they really got y'all on that. I can't believe it. We got all the media outlets. We got Barry Sanders coming out. Uh, and as you can see in this picture, uh, he wasn't in. And you know the funny part is about that touchdown? I knew he wasn't in. I said it on Twitter. But I knew the rest wouldn't overturn it. And I was just like, I, we just got to let that touchdown go. They never, they never going to overturn that. But I knew he wasn't in on this play. But it is what it is. And you know... In the pivotal moment of the game, you're just calling flags and you're just calling flags. And this is my thing. Every game has ebbs and flows. Every game has ups and downs. Every team makes mistakes with inside the football game. But everything is about situational football. Situational football is the number one thing that wins and lose, lose football games. And in situational football, the biggest situation for the Detroit Lions in this football game, third and ten. Stopped Aaron Rodgers, sacked Aaron Rodgers. They're out of field goal range. Lions get the ball back and win the game. <sighs> Flag! And you know, it brings me back to two other specific moments. Where the Lions fans and their fan base, that's why I said it feels kind of like the black struggle. I, I'm sorry to use this analogy. I'm not being disrespectful to my ancestors, but seem like whenever things go right for us, something always happens. Seem like whenever it go right for the Lions, flag! Y'all remember that Packers game? Lions were about to go on an 8 8 0. We were about to somehow win the division, make the playoffs. Well, not win the division, but make the playoffs and flag and Rodgers Hail Mary. Y'all remember 2014 and flag for the Lions. Yay, finally they're giving it to us. Thank you, a flag that's the correct call. Brian runs out of the field without his helmet, no flag. Now let's pick this up. Lions, defense, huge stop on third down, sack, biggest play of the entire game. Flag. And you know... I'm just not going to accept the notion that we missed opportunities. Every team misses opportunities. Like, Green Bay missed opportunities to get touchdowns. They beat us with a, they had a, they had a couple touchdowns, but they beat us with the rest of the field goals. And, you know, my, my thing is, can you not do that on the biggest play of the game? It's the biggest play of the game, and you make the wrong call. And then the Lions. <laughs> I mean, we're such a resilient team. That's why I still have faith. Through all of that, we showed up again on a third and eight and stopped them one more time to give the ball back to the offense. Why? And you know, I sound a little bit sad, a little disheartened because it's just like every time we get close. A shout out to my boy Tony Dombrowski. If you, you guys know him on Twitter, he, he said it best, man. He said it best. Every year, the Lions have one game where the refs really screw us, and lately it's cost us playoff games. I mean, last year, you could go to the 49ers game or the Cowboys game, take your pick. Considering where we were in the season at that point in time, those are huge games. The year before, uh, you, can, you can go to the, uh, what, what's the game, the Atlanta game. That game, literally losing that game, kept us out of the playoffs because Atlanta made it because they won that game. And it's always something, no matter what, one game a year. And apparently this was the one game of the year where the refs are going to royally F us. Honestly, got to be better, man. You got to bounce back and be better. And the one thing I don't get with Lions fans, the end all be all is always winning with y'all. And what y'all don't understand is 
to, to overcome the officiating, your team has to be so freaking good that it can overcome officiating. And I'm not just talking regular season games. I'm talking winning the playoff games. I'm talking winning the Super Bowl. It's only been a few teams that the NFL didn't want to win the Super Bowl with their rigging, and they still won it because they were so good. Well, I'm sorry to say, well, the Lions aren't that good to where we can overcome officiating like that. I mean, we stopped them twice, and they called it twice. They're like, dang, y'all did it again? God dang, we got to get the Packers this dub. And you know the funniest part about this is the ref, the referee, jumped into the stands and did the Lambo leap. Like, do we have to keep ignoring this? The referee did the Lambo leap. Like, what more do I have to say to y'all? I mean, it is what it is. Stafford had to be better. Carrion should have been better. Our, our entire offense should have been better. They should have scored touchdowns. Matt Patricia definitely had some missed calls. Maybe should have challenged the P.I. Uh, 12 men on the field, but the refs also missed calls. Like I said, Green Bay had 13 defensive players on the field. And they didn't call it. But, you know... My thing is, man, we got to bounce back. We're still a really – I still think we are a good team. I just think we've had three really tough losses. Yes, I'm counting Arizona as a tough loss. We've had really three three really tough losses, so we, we got to go out and get some tough wins, man. It's your boy 313 JMO. Happy birthday to me. At least I'm off today. <laughs> That's all I can take, but I think the Lions can still bounce back. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you thought about the game, man. I'm out.